Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tea Time Travels. Today I'm going to give you a full blown tour of the Oasis of the Seas, an Oasis class ship for Royal Caribbean. This is by far one of my favorite ships, if not my favorite ship. Why? Because I have so many amazing memories tied to this particular ship. We were at the inauguration of the ship when it arrived to the United States in Miami. We took the first trip out. I celebrated my honeymoon on that ship. I also celebrated my daughter, my eldest daughter, Aloha's birthday on that ship, her first one. And we've gone to the Oasis of the Seas after that for about four or five times more. So this is a ship that I am very much passionate about. I love the Oasis. So I really wanted to take another trip there. And this time I took the time to get a full blown tour of the ship to show to you guys. So anyways, another Tea Time Travels episode is starting now. Let's start our tour on deck number two. Now there's not much here. This is the floor where you will go to get medical assistance if ever needed. So deck number two is medical. Deck number three is gangway. The gangway is where you board and leave the ship when you get to your ports. That is the gangway deck number three. They also have a conference center there. Now we're in deck number four. I took the elevator and ended up in the aft of the ship, which is the back part on this deck all the way to the right when you get off the elevators you will see izumi izumi is a specialty restaurant that has hibachi and sushi the food here is phenomenal and if you're looking for a specialty restaurant you want to spend a little money on a really cool experience i suggest the hibachi you have to make reservations for this it's usually full but i highly recommend it once you exit Izumi, you're going to find yourself in front of the main dining room. Now, the main dining room is not one floor. I'll show you what other floors they're on. But the main dining room is a place you come to in the evening for your dinner. This is free. It's all inclusive. But you can also have breakfast here if you didn't know that. It's very spacious. It's very grand. Now, right across is Casino Royale. This is a smoking area. So the main casino, you're going to smell a lot of smoke you can get drinks they have bars in here as well but they also have a little hidden gem a casino for non-smokers so if you are looking for a space where you don't have to be around a lot of people smoking they do have their own private casino and i'm going to show you that in just a few seconds as we approach the staircase this is deck four but this staircase leads to the royal promenade which is deck five i'll take you there in a bit but for the meantime, enjoy all the poker tables and all of the slots as we head on over to the non-smoking area. As we make our way over to the non-smoking casino area, you're gonna come across a beautiful hallway donned with amazing paintings from artists all over the world. This is Park West. Park West also holds art auctions on board and they are phenomenal to join in. I highly recommend you take one day. It's probably about an hour or two. I highly suggest you sign up and you join one of the art auctions. I've purchased art on the ship before and my experience with receiving my pieces was flawless. I highly recommend you join in on one of those. As soon as you head out of Park West, directly on your left-hand side, you're going to see Blaze. Blaze is two things, a nightclub. They also have comedy shows in there. Great experience, very intimate, but in this particular location, you can also join in on the art auction. This is where they hold the art auctions. And then directly on your right, you have Studio B. Studio B houses many ice skating shows. They also open the skating rink for skaters. And they also have the laser tag in here as well. This is a great place. Make sure you check your app for day-to-day -day activities. As soon as you step out of Studio B on the right hand side, you have the uh, Crown Lounge. This is for Crown and Anchor members only. You use your key to come in, but this is a phenomenal space. If you're going to go to a comedy show or an ice skating show, you can stop by here for a little bit and relax before the show, or once the shows are over, you can sit in here and let the crowds die down. Um, it's a great little place with computers. They have beverages, coffee, they have fruits, cookies. It's just a nice location for you to sit down, relax, and um, kind of get a little bit of uh, rest time 
time or relaxation time before you hop on to the next activity. And just before we reach the staircase that leads to deck five on the right hand side, you have the Casino Royale non-smoking area. Now this little casino has all of the luxuries and the amenities that you would find in the regular casino, but this is the non-smoking area. And if you continue walking all the way to the end, or should I say the beginning of the ship, you're going to find the Royal Theater. Here the Royal Theater has multiple floors, but they have such incredible Broadway style productions to showcase here. They also do game shows every now and then. Definitely a place on your list of places you have to visit. And just like that, we've made it to my favorite deck on board, deck number five. There's so many opportunities for a good time on deck number five, and I can't wait to showcase all of them to you. We're going to start off with boleros. Boleros is a salsa club. It turns into a salsa club every single night, but there's music playing throughout the day. Not live, but just music playing. At night, the live music comes to life. They also have family charades and other activities in here like crafts every now and then. Check your itinerary for that. Then right across, you have Spotlight Karaoke. Just as the name suggests, Spotlight Karaoke is the home of karaoke, both family karaoke and adult karaoke, but it also houses zen coloring sessions and arts and crafts and jewelry making. So just make sure that you check your app on a consistent basis so that you're able to see what's going on in all of these locations. One thing I highly recommend, if you are missing any item in your luggage, you forgot to pack a toothbrush, perfume, soap, whatever the case, don't worry because on board you can find everything. Here in Solera, you have uh, things like skincare products, makeup, perfume. They have everything you can imagine and all high-end brands. So you're not going to get something that is iffy. Your brands are here on board. I can almost guarantee it. We had a lot of fun going in there shopping for perfume. I purchased perfume myself from here. Um, absolutely love it. But here, just take a look at Solera and let me know what you think after. As you can see here, Solera has a tiny shop next door and it sells liquor. Here you can find champagne, a hard liquor, whatever the case, you can purchase it and then you can take it home with you. But they do offer these things in this particular shop right next to Solera. Across from Solera, you have the shop. This is a store that has hats, bathing suits, clothing, whatever you forgot, they're going to have. This is a great place to stop by, possibly on your last night of the ship. If you want to pick up some sort of um, gifts for the family back home, they have a great number of things. And if you're looking for a cute little souvenir with an Oasis of the Sea logo or um, a Royal Caribbean logo, something to commemorate your trip, this is the place to find it.
right across from the shop, you have Sorrento's. Sorrento's is a pizza spot. They also have a bar and you can purchase a beverage package. And as, as you can see there, they have Coca-Cola machines with that beverage package. You can get Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola products basically all cruise long. Sorrento's is one of the places that is opened the latest. So you can get pizzas as a midnight snack without a problem but this is free and this service is available uh, all day. Again, free of charge. Across from Sorrento's, you have the pub. This pub is filled at night. It's a great hangout spot. They also host some uh, little events here and there, but it's a great spot, great bar. Right after that, we have reached Island Market. If you didn't know, Island Market used to be a cupcake shop followed by Kate Spade, but now they do carry Kate Spade bags. It's just not all that they carry. They have jewelry, they have dresses, they have items from Marc Jacobs, uh, they have Carl Lagerfeld, they have high-end bags and dresses. So you see what I told you? Even if you forget your Captain's Night dress at home, you have options here. Now, if you like a little luxury, the collection is a place for you. The collection is home to a place called What Goes Around Comes Around. And it is a high-end um, store that allows for you to pick up items that were once used before. But these are all Louis Vuitton and Gucci authentic bags. We went in here and I mean, everything you can imagine, every type of bag you can imagine is here. The prices are fair and um, there's a lot of beautiful pieces. So if you're looking to go home with a luxury bag and you don't know where to pick it up, right here on board is your spot. They have glasses, they have satchels, they have pouches, they have crossbodies, big duffels. I'm talking everything and great price as well. Across from the collection, you have the Royal Promenade Cafe. This is the it spot. Everybody's always sitting here relaxing, people watching. You can enjoy your Starbucks here. Keep in mind that there are drinks that you have to pay for, so just be mindful of that. You're not gonna get every drink there for free, um, but there are options for you, so just be mindful. This is the Regalia Fine Jewelry Spot. Here you can find beautiful pieces, diamonds sapphires gold silver they have a bunch of items on board great keepsake to commemorate your trip i love it here i think it's really really nice um, but a great little stop if you want to see some fine jewelry that is different and unique now i introduce to you the bionic bar i'm not a drinker but i have to tell you pick up a non-alcoholic beverage from here because this is crazy fun first you're going to take the little tablet you're going to place your order and as soon as you place the order the robots get to work it's super cool they mix your drink they prepare it pour it for you and then you wave your key card in front of the robot and it brings you your drink directly to the front of that white table you saw there now we're going across to the regalia fine watch store so you got ladies you got your jewelry on one side and gentlemen you have fine watches on the other here they carry everything from pre-used or pre-owned pre-loved rolexes to really any type of watch you want another great keepsake uh, or commemorative item to purchase from your trip When you step out of the Regalia Fine Watch store, you have guest services. You can go there for absolutely anything that you need. They're so kind, so helpful, and so warm and welcoming. You also have port shopping and Voom. Voom is the internet service that they use on board. I don't have complaints. I think it works pretty well, um, but you have internet service av available for purchase when you get on the ship. So make sure you check that out if you have work to do or you need any help with that. And just like that, we are on deck six. Here, this is the forward part of the ship, not the aft. Remember, the aft is the back part. Forward is the front part of the ship. As you can see here, we are on deck number six, but you can see directly below to deck number five. So that means that there's no floor here. However, there is a section towards all the way in the front. As you can see here, this is the Vitality at Sea Spa fitness center and salon here you can get your hair done your nails done you can get hair treatments you can get spa treatments pedicures remember all of these services have a cost so if you book 
um, as soon as you get on board, they usually give you percentages off, uh, like a first day type of thing. So as soon as you get on, go book your services. I've always said I highly recommend once you leave an island, if your hair is salty, that salt water, I highly recommend get your hair done at the salon. The blow dryers on board are not very good and the shampoo is the same as the body wash. So you're not going to get the type of hair you want unless you bring your own products from home and your own blow dryer. I just prevent the hassle and I just go get my hair done at the salon. As soon as you reach the Vitality Spa reception area, you're going to make a right. Once you make a right, you're going to see that there's a hallway and a staircase. You're going to take that staircase all the way down and you're going to see another reception area. Here, they're going to guide you to the spa relaxation room where you can get a drink of water, you can use the restroom, but above all things, you can fill out a form that states how you're feeling and what are your problem areas so that your masseuse can better provide a service for for you the massage rooms are so clean they're immaculate they smell so good a great space to relax and get your services done now we are back in the main reception area upstairs and you're going to go ahead and make a left so that you can visit the gym area the gym has so many incredible amenities they have a sauna and services like that that you do have to pay for however being part of the gym you do not so you can go in at six in the morning you can get your workout in you can go throughout the day it's a fantastic place very clean they keep it in tip-top shape and i'm going to stop talking just so that you can enjoy all of the things that they have to offer As I mentioned before, the gym and the Vitality Spa are on the same location on deck six. However, you can go and run laps by going down the stairs. This will lead you to deck five once more right outside the ship and you can run your laps there. I love that it's a controlled environment for an area and then you're outside where you can breathe fresh air. I love the decor on the walls. I love how they made the floor look like a track. I think it's just phenomenal. Now we are heading out of the Vitality Spa and the gym and we're actually heading on over to the right or the left, it doesn't matter, but we're gonna go through all of the cabins because on the opposing side of the ship, the um, aft part of the ship, you're going to see that there's more in store. So let's cross all the rooms and get to the other side of deck six. We have reached the other side, and once you get to the other side, there is another lobby with elevators as well. This is the complete opposite side on the same floor as the um, Vitality Spa. And once you reach this point, you're going to see that there's a way to go outside and a way to stay inside. I'm gonna take you on the inside portion, and you're going to see that over that glass railing, you can see deck five below, just as we saw deck five below on the other side when we were at the Vitality Spa. Here, you have shore excursions. Here, you can book shore excursions using these little tablets. Um, maybe you want to go um, tubing in Jamaica, or you want to go to Curaçao and go to one of the beaches and experience swimming with turtles. You're going to get to do that on these tablets. And here is the photo station. You remember the old days where you had all the photos on the walls? Not anymore. Now you swipe your card and you can see all the photos you've taken on board and you can order them right there on your own. Then across from that, you have next cruise. This is where you would go to book your next cruise, just at how it states there. I do know you you get percentages off, I, I believe, if you do it on board. And then this is the Schooner Bar. There is always live music at night. There's always somebody playing the piano. They do games here as well. But it's another one of those spots where you can sit down, have a drink, and relax. Now we're heading back towards where the elevators are because just beyond the elevators, you have the boardwalk. And this is where parents, you're going to spend most of your time here. It's a lot of fun. It's almost as if you are um, in the boardwalk in New York. Uh, it's just, it's phenomenal. It's a great experience. Let's jump over there and see what they have in store. 
So this location, the boardwalk, it makes you feel like you're on Coney Island. It's really, really cool. So as soon as you walk out, the first thing that you're going to notice is all of the carved horses and the carousel. All of the walls are donned with super cool, like circus-like art, those fun house mirrors. It's really, really special. And in the distance, you can see that beautiful carousel. You can ride that carousel as many times as you want. There's no fee for that. However, all those games you see along the walls, um, like the basketball game and Zoltar, you have to pay for that. This is a hot dog spot, and I'm gonna bring you there in just a second, but I gotta show you the rest first. So as I mentioned before, you can go ahead and get on the carousel without an issue. You can ride it as many times as you want. It is for free. Now we're gonna head on over to Sugar Beach. You can get cupcake classes or candy here. And they also have Sprinkles, which is an ice cream location. So you can stop in there, uh, stop by in there. You can pick up ice cream, add the toppings. This one you do have to pay for as well. And in the distance, you have Johnny uh, Rockets on your left-hand side and Playmakers on your right-hand side. Both, both of these locations are specialty restaurants, so you do have to pay for these. Johnny Rockets is the burgers with the fries. You pay $17 per person, and you can have all the burgers and all the fries you want. And you also have to pay separately for the shakes. So you can't do all the shakes you want. You would have to pay for those individually. But 17 per person and you get all the food you want. And then Playmakers is um, like a sports bar where you can get your wings and your things like that. Also have to pay for that. This is a huge slide. It's called the Abyss. And it goes from the 15th floor all the way to deck number six. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Aqua Theater. Here you can watch movies at night. You can sit down and relax and watch like funny videos during the day. But this turns into an aquatic theater at night. They also have rock climbing walls, as you can see there. On both sides, you have rock climbing walls. It's a great activity and it's open throughout the day. So you can go over there, get your exercise in, have a little bit of fun. As I mentioned before, make sure you get those reservations for all your shows in on time. I would highly recommend doing it right before you board the ship. That way you know that your days and your times are secure. We're gonna go ahead and carry on. As you can see over on this side, they have a little double-decker bus. This is a play area for kids, but it also makes for great photos. They used to have a little boat on the opposing side. I used to take pictures there for all our trips, including uh, my first trip with my husband, um, the inaugural, but they removed that boat and it's so sad because it was such a highlight of the photo ops for this cruise. Anywho, on the right hand side, you now have Johnny Rockets and over on the left hand is Playmakers. And once more, you can see the carousel at a distance. We're gonna go into Playmakers. As you can see, they have a bar. Um, they also have a restaurant. And the cool part about this restaurant, it's like a guy's den, like a, a man cave, because they have pool and they have other games there that you can play. It's a really great spot if you wanna go watch sports. I saw a bunch of sports fans heading um, inside, wearing their jerseys, screaming and cheering for their teams while they were eating as you can see it's a great spot for you to just hang out they have arcade games in there as well it's just a cool little spot for you to have a good time Now we are at the Boardwalk Dog House. A lot of people walked past this not knowing that this is an actual hot dog stand. It just looks so colorful and cool. You would literally glance by without noticing, but they have hot dogs with a bunch of toppings. So if you're looking for a quick little uh, lunch or something, just a quick bite, this is a great stop. And then you can enjoy everything on board. Um, deck six on the Boardwalk. You can play a couple of games. You can get some ice cream, do the little carousel, watch a little show, take a couple photos. So it's a great little spot. And if you're wondering if the hot dogs are free, they are. Now we're wrapping
hopping up deck six and jumping to deck seven. Deck seven is just staterooms. So we're not gonna waste any time here, but just know that this floor is staterooms. So now we're hopping into deck eight. We got off in the aft part of the ship, the backside, and right as soon as you get off, you see the music hall. This is a great spot at night. They do a lot of jazz music, live music. Um, it has a beautiful dance floor, and at night it looks spectacular because the glass in the back overlooks all of the backside of the Oasis ship. So you can see the water, you can see the lights from the boardwalk, it's spectacular. This location has two floors and it is also the location if you're planning on throwing a, a wedding or a quinceanera party or something large for a group of people, you can rent this space out and it is awesome. Now we're heading on over to the opposing side of the elevators and as you can see in the distance, the greenery we are heading now ladies and gentlemen to central park and in central park you're going to feel like you are in central park one of the first things you're going to notice is this beautiful piece of like architecture right in the center this is called the rising tide it is a bar that sits on the eighth floor and it's like an elevator the bar goes down to the fifth floor as you can see in there it's just like a boat shaped bar and you can see everything it's the coolest thing then over uh, on the right hand side directly in front of the rising tide you're going to see 150 central park this is a specialty restaurant you have steaks you can get filet mignon you could get mashed potatoes a great dinner if you're looking for something outside of the wind jammer something outside of the free dining you have 150 central park and then on the opposing side of rising tide you have chops grill chops grill and um, 150 central park i find to be very similar so if you cannot get reservations to one you can always try the other but they're very similar in food options one of the beautiful things about central park they also have a uh, trellis bar right here it's like a little bar that you could pick up some drinks you can stroll um, they have this super cute little pathway i saw a lot of people sitting down on the benches in this pathway and just reading a good book with a glass of wine it's very relaxing to be here it's very soothing and calming and because it's um, outdoors where you can breathe fresh air it's really really nice if you go through this pathway you're going to come across an italian restaurant called giovanni's table if you are feeling italian this is going to be the spot for you to come again this is a specialty restaurant which means you have to pay right across from that you have the uh, park cafe that is free they have breakfast um, and they have lunch available very clean dining then you have vintages vintages has wine fine wine um, a more mature um, location for adults for you to sit down and have a date night perhaps you can always leave your kids at the um, the daycare area uh, or the kids club a great spot for them then they have these really really high-end stores like john hardy trend and this right here is another area where you can relax and then off into the distance they have a christmas store which i'm going to take you to right now they had all of the items when i went on they had a great sale and i was able to pick up some items i showed you that uh, in another episode but they had just fantastic sales with christmas items and i believe this is a permanent shop because it says holiday marketplace so i think it's all year round We are jumping onto the elevator and as you can see here deck nine holds the second floor from that music hall that i showed you earlier um, and then all state rooms and then 10 and 11 and 12 are all state rooms as well the next floor with activities is deck 14 and as soon as you get off the ship you're going to see adventure ocean this is the kids 
club. Now you can have your children here, um, depending on what age group they fall under, they would be in separate areas. So they have the Adventure Ocean Babies, I believe is from six months all the way to 36 months, um, and this is their room. Then they have the juniors, and I believe this is from uh, three to five years old. And then they have this beautiful um, play area this is for families to go with their kids so if you're not comfortable leaving your children you can come into this play area the play place and you can have your children play in there have a good time you can sit down um, while they're playing drink your coffee then as you continue and carry on they have the six to twelve year old hangout spot so that's their room and this is the workshop this is where they hold arts and crafts family science anything to deal with children and family will happen there then we're going to go ahead and walk across all of the staterooms on this very same floor and we're going to go to the opposing side deck 14 where they have another location on this deck 14 in the opposing side you're going to find a uh, one of those like rooms where you have to escape from like the, the escape room this time the theme is apollo 18. this is really cool there is a price a fee for this but it's a lot of fun we've done these on the ships and they're just so much fun what they usually do there's a fee per person they kind of get a group of people together i believe it's like eight or ten people and you guys have to work to get out of this escape room they're done very well it's very hard so if you're looking for a good challenge this is it and if you're going with a family i'm telling you this is the activity for the family to do together otherwise you will be paired up with strangers And now we have officially reached deck 15. Deck 15 is home to the pools and to most of the sports areas. But before we get into that, I wanna show you the arcade. The arcade is located on deck 15. This arcade is massive. There's a lot of fun games. There's claw machines, there's driving games. Um, there's a bunch of things, air hockey. It's a really great area. Maybe it's late at night and you wanna do something with the family. You can all join each other at the arcade and you can have a great night. The way you play these games is that you are being charged using your C-Pass card, so your room key essentially. You take that room key and you swipe it on every machine and every time you swipe, you are paying. You attach a credit card or you can pay via cash at the end of the ship, but you are being charged for all of these games. If you're with a child and you want to set a limit, maybe you can just purchase the amount of credits you want. So for example, all the way at the end, you're gonna see this large machine that says cre uh, get credits here. You can just charge to your card how much you want um, your child to have and then they can use those credits. Uh, but they just have a lot of fun games. It's a great time in here. And uh, we love to stop by and I will not lie, we love to get a couple of ducks while we're in there. Across from the arcade you have Unboxed. Unboxed are huge vending machines. I mean like ginormous vending machines. And there you can purchase essentials such as sunblock, deodorant, Advil, any sort of medication you may need for a headache. Um, I've had issues sometimes where uh, we run out of sunblock and we're going to the beach. Well, this is the perfect place to go. And this is accessible to you so you can pick it up whenever you need it. They have band-aids, toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, everything is there. And now we are jumping outside. We have reached my favorite restaurant in the entire ship, El Loco Fresh. This is a Mexican restaurant. It is buffet style and you can get all of the most delicious items to get your Mexican food fix right here. This is a free restaurant. You do not need to pay for this. This is completely complimentary. So you have everything from uh, nachos to make you know your own nacho a plate. Um, they have chicken, they have pork, they have a salsa bar it's just phenomenal this is my favorite spot to eat in the entire ship and i have eaten at every restaurant i have eaten at every place in the ship and this is by far my favorite it is complimentary so take advantage up next you have the basketball courts over at the basketball courts it's not just basketball 
They use this for um, pickleball. They use it for soccer. They use it for dodgeball. This area is spectacular. Um, they have competitions throughout the entire cruise. Uh, while I was there, they did a dodgeball competition. You're actually going to see in one of my videos that they're playing basketball um, in one of my vlogs. If you haven't seen it already, I have a full series, um, including this episode where I share every day with you guys. And it's great to see how all of these places are being utilized. Up next, we're going to cross under here and you're going to see one of the most famous parts of this ship. This is something people go crazy for. This is a tremendous line. And guess what? We were docked. We were docked somewhere at this point. And look at the line to ride the flow rider. This is great. It is very important to check your itinerary and your app because there are points on the cruise where you can get a little bit of instruction from one of the teachers there for the flow rider. Up next, we have the abyss. The abyss is that big slide I told you about down on deck six. Well, on deck 15, you can get on. It's almost like you have to slip into a sack and you slide down. Uh, it's really, really cool the way the slide works. Everything is dark, little lights, so much fun. And then you have the wipeout bar that you just saw right there. And then over on the other side, you have another flow rider. Usually the way it works is one of them is like a boogie board and the other one is stand. Um, it's that way it gives everybody a chance to do something they really want to do then on the same floor you have the miniature golf it's a lot of fun there's a total of nine holes so it's it, it'll take you a good 30 minutes to finish this it's a great uh, amount of time to take your kids there for a little uh, a little fun in the sun it's a great little spot um, they also have some zip line as you can see that gentleman under the the umbrella there is zip lining there you have to meet a certain requirement as far as weight and height to do it and now we are heading to our next specialty restaurant port side barbecue by now at this point in the video you should know whenever i say specialty restaurant that means you have to pay for that experience. So over at the portside barbecue, you have an area like a patio area where you can sit outside and enjoy your food, but you can also jump into the restaurant and you can have your meal there. I'm gonna go ahead and take you inside so you can see how the food is served, um, how those plates are put together, just for you to get a, a, a feeling or a vibe from this location. side of the barbecue spot you can already start to see everyone is uh, jumping into the pools you can smell the pools you can smell the sunblock um, we are here we are here in the probably the most popular spot for everyone on board and it's the pools you have a number of pools you have a number of slides it's a really really fun location if you are coming from um states where you you don't live oceanside i'm telling you this is going to be the place where you're going to be living the whole cruise along they have um bartenders that are walking around they're asking you if you want drinks great spot in addition to that there's an ice cream machine there and that is always packed the ice cream in this the soft serve ice cream in this particular floor is free you don't have to pay for that ice cream you do have to pay for the ice cream on deck six the boardwalk over at sprinkles that one you do this one on this floor the soft surf you do not so you can get all the ice cream you want for free and if you keep walking you're going to see that there's a beautiful stage um, all the walls are so nicely decorated this is called lime and coconut and it is a stage for all of the calypso music you love to hear when you are on vacation i loved standing there and hearing them play they're so incredibly talented i loved hearing live music there and then this is kind of a view from that 15th floor looking down at deck eight um, it's just a beautiful view you can see the ocean from the opposite side um, and then you can see deck eight 
now we are walking towards the solarium. The solarium is for adults, 18 and over. This is a great place where you can relax poolside, where you can just get one of these super cool conch looking uh, sofa chairs and you can sit there and relax. You can look over uh, at the ocean. You could read a book um, there. It's just such a beautiful location. One of the best spots, if you are a parent and you wanna just relax, this is the place you can go. They also have the Solarium restaurant. So you can go ahead and get your food there. You can have a little lunch there. Um, all of this is for adults. Um, and it's, it's a great space if you're looking for that peace, quiet, tranquil location. This is fantastic. Just like that, we hit deck 16. Deck 16 is the home to the Windjammer Marketplace. The Windjammer is a buffet style restaurant where they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. My recommendation, although there's dining everywhere all over the ship, I suggest you try the Windjammer for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. The last deck is deck 17, but that's home to loft suites and royal suites, which we do not have access to because in order to get there, you have to have a key. This concludes our tour. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our full blown tour of the Oasis of the Seas. Again, it's my favorite ship of all time, the first of its class. Um, so it is a, a ship that I highly recommend. I hope this video helps in the preparation for your trip. Um, it also helps, even if you're not going on the Oasis, if you're going on an Oasis class ship, you have an idea of what to expect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time. And I will see you next week for the next uh, Tea Time Travels episode for season one. Until then.